Here we are knitting and working on the back piece of the flower rain cardigan. So this is supposed to represent the back of the flower rain cardigan that I am making with uh, Manos del Uruguay Alegria yarn. And um, so now I want to show you how I am making the shoulder shaping with short rows on the back piece. So this is supposed to represent the back piece. Of course, this is only a swatch. I have the uh, right amount of stitches that I need for my size. Uh, but of course, I do not. I have not knitted the whole body. Uh, but that doesn't matter. This is supposed to be a tutorial to explain you how to do the shoulder shaping on the short rows with short rows uh, for the back of this uh, design. So first, we're going to uh, knit to five stitches before the end of the row and I'm going to work in pattern as established uh, before as you can find in the chart and described in the pattern. So I am working the first short row on the first row of the pattern repeat. Uh, I just as I did for uh, the front pieces because I want the front pieces and the back to uh, be as compatible as possible. Uh, so if you can, try to start your short row shaping on the same row as you did for one or both of the two um, front pieces. So I am currently on row one of the chart on the right side and I am forgetting a yarn over and I am going to work to five stitches before the end of the row so um, I see you in a second so here I am I made it to the end of the row on the right side and I have five stitches left on my needle so I will work my first German short row. For that, I will turn my work. Now I have the wrong side facing. I will slip this stitch to my right hand needle and bring the yarn to the back. And by that, I will pull the two legs of the stitch onto the needle. And this creates the double stitch here. Um, now I will work back the whole wrong side row to five stitches before the end of the row. So I continue as described in the pattern. Um, I am on row two of the chart and I will work to five stitches before the end of the row. So I made it to the end of the second row and I will work my second uh, double stitch. So I have five stitches left here on the needle and now I will turn my work, I have the right side facing and I will work the next double stitch. For that I will bring the yarn to the front, like so, and then I will pass the stitch to my right hand needle and again pull on the yarn and bring it backwards so that I have this double stitch here that is created. And um, so this is the short row on the other side the first short row on the other side. And now I will continue working on the right side and I continue working in pattern until I arrive five stitches before the previous double stitch or German short row, which is at the other end of uh, this row or at the end of the row. Um, so I will work according to pattern to five stitches before the previous double stitch. So I made it to the end of the row and as you can see here is the first double stitch that I made and I will work to five stitches before that double stitch and this is here. So here you can see the double stitch. 
um, five stitches before and now I will work the next German short row or double stitch and for that I will turn my work. Now I have the wrong side facing. I will pass the slip I will slip the stitch or pass the stitch to the other needle and bring the yarn to the back over the needle and to the back so that the two legs of the stitch appear here and this is the second double stitch on this side. Now I will work according to pattern and do the same, work two five stitches before the previous German short row or double stitch. We are at the end of the row and I have made it to five stitches before the previous double stitch and the double stitch is here as you can see and uh, I have made it to five stitches before it. Now I will work the next short row and for that I will just turn my work, bring the yarn forward like so and slip the stitch to the other needle and pass the yarn over the needle to the back so that the two legs of the stitch appear here and I will continue knitting across the row according to pattern and I will repeat uh, these German short rows and by making the double stitches as often as required uh, by the pattern and depending also on your size. Here I am again, I have made the required amount of double stitches. You can see them here, here, here and some more. Same on the other side, I have made the required amount of double stitches and you can already see how uh, the diagonal is shaped for the shoulders here on the back. And uh, now I want to finish this off. So now I want to work the last double stitch on this right side and work the last two rows of the back. So I'm going to bring the yarn in forward, slip the stitch and uh, pull the yarn to the back so that the two legs of the stitch appear here. So this is the double stitch and then I'm going to continue working across the row as established in pattern. So right now I am in row three of the chart pattern and I will work uh, through the row according to pattern until I reach the double stitch. So I have worked the required amount of German short rows and I have the number of double stitches that I need for my size and as you can see here this diagonal shape is uh, quite visible on both sides, on both ends. So here I have the double stitches. You can recognize like here, for example, the other one is here. And uh, same thing on the other side, you can recognize this diagonal shape and the double stitches here. And now I want to um, knit those double stitches and uh, finish the back piece of the flowering cardigan. And for that, here is the upcoming double stitch and I will pass my needles through both legs of the double stitch and knit both legs together. And as you can see, this is invisible. And I will knit to the end of uh, the row and do the same for all the double stitches. So here's another one. And I continue working as established in the pattern but I knit together the two legs of the double stitches. So I have made the second one and now here comes the other double stitch. I will knit into both legs of the double stitch and here it is almost invisible. And same until I reach the end of the row. Here's the next double stitch you can see here the two legs i will pass the needle into the stitch and knit both legs together and now the last double stitch which is here and i knit again into both legs of the double stitch maybe i'm going to show that again here's the double stitch 
and I'm going to knit into both legs of the double stitch and here it is invisible the stitch and uh, knit to the end of the row and now I will turn my work and work on the last row of this supposed back piece or of this back piece swatch and I will do the same with the double stitches that are at the other end and the difference is that I have to pull the two legs together. Okay, so I have worked at the last row of the back. This is uh, the wrong side and I have worked the row four of the chart and now I made it to the end of the row where I can see now the double stitches coming like this one here. So I will purl the double stitches together. I mean, purl the two legs of the double stitch together and do that for all the double stitches of the German short rows that I have worked. So I purl it together here as well. The two legs, you can see them here quite clearly and I purl them together. Sometimes I pick them up from the other side because it's easier to get into the legs like that. Um, yeah, here it was possible on the front, uh, like this. So I knit both legs, I purl both legs together and I do that for all the double stitches that I encounter on this side. And then I will be finished with the short row shaping uh, for the shoulders of the back piece of the flowering cardigan. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how to join the two fronts with the back with the three needle bind off and how to finish off the neck part so that it looks nice and neat and pretty. And here you can see the back part. Maybe if I put it on the table like this, you can appreciate it better. So you can see that the center part here sits higher, obviously, than the sides here that will sit on the shoulder. This is lower, so you can see the magic of the short rows that happened here on the back on this supposed back piece on this swatch and uh, see you in the next tutorial.